Friday, March 22nd. Tomorrow is my birthday. So my mom and dad are going to take me to a big antique mall, I believe, out in Stanton. I wanted to spend the day with my parents because I haven't spent a birthday with them in a while since I lived with them. So um, today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be some new video techniques. He thinks I have something. <laughs> Side note, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that, or you may have seen, I don't know what you look at, but I posted a picture on there of a Sony A6000 that I got to use for videos and just photography in general. That didn't work out so well. There's a whole other video that will happen with that. I'm getting another camera. <laughs> I just had a bunch of issues with the Sony. I've always been a Canon user, so going to Sony, I wasn't like 100% like comfortable with it because I have only ever used Canons because that is the only thing that like works for me. Obviously, I feel like that was a terrible idea because it all like backfired in my face. Yeah, there will be a whole other video on that. Um, I'm still not going back to Canon. I'm going to Fuji, so we'll see how that goes. Cameron uses Fujifilm, and I've used his camera before to shoot an event for my work and then some maternity photos and stuff like that. So, I mean, I like it. I understand the controls. Um, not as well as I know Canon controls. For now, I'm still filming everything on my iPhone. <laughs> Please ignore the dog food and birthday presents and all the crap behind me. Sorry, my life is a mess. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Probably won't show my parents in at all, at all because my mom hates being on camera. Um, my dad might get in it, but you know, I don't want to put them in it if they're not not comfortable. I'll see you on the road. Why did I do that just now? Why did I like... Okay, bye. <laughs>so I just got home after spending the day in Stanton with my parents. Uh, we went to the biggest antique mall I have ever seen in my entire life. It said it was the largest antique mall in all of America, which I wouldn't doubt it 
after being inside there for three hours. It was so big that they had to name each aisle a street number. So it went from first street all the way down. I think the last row was called like last street or something. And then there was like main street. I think one was like front street and then back street. So you knew what side of the building you were on. There were so many. <laughs> But I bought a few things there, and I thought it would be cool to do like a little unboxing video. So, I bought a few things, and then my brother bought me a couple of things also. First thing, first thing, first. Did that sound right? That didn't sound right in my head. I apologize for Moose. He is eating his dog bone right now, and he's in the floor being a good, a good boy. Okay. So, Jared got me these little pendants they're little jewels I hope you can see them focus focus on it okay well they look like this <laughs> um, I'll do like an up close shot so you can see it but I thought they were really cute they were seven dollars each my mom got a cool one, I should have got a picture of it, but it was like this same shape and then it was clear, but then on the bottom it looked like someone had like dropped like fountain pen ink in it, and then the top also had a little bit of it on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so it's later, um, I needed to refilm this next part because I can't speak, that is something you'll learn throughout the course of this YouTube channel. <laughs> I was walking with my dad through the antique store uh, looking for what I got Cameron. I found this and I knew he would like it too. So I got a brownie camera finally. It's something I've wanted for a very long time. I've seen numerous ones before in different antique stores but they've all been like more than $50 and this one was only $18, so I was pretty excited when I found it. Look at it. It's so nice. and so pretty. It reminds me of The Great Gatsby, which I love. I've always wanted one of those. And Cameron was excited when I told him about it. Next thing, Jared also bought. Jared is my brother, by the way, if you didn't know that. He bought me a book. It's Heidi. Our grandmother, my mom's mom, uh, she used to read me Heidi. I might still have it one moment. I lied. I'm sorry. I don't have it anymore. Unless it's upstairs in the attic. And I'm not going up there because I don't like attics. <laughs> that was what Jared got me. Also, mom and dad bought me this because I have heartburn. All the time. They got me coffee and I got heartburn. I'll show you what I got Cameron next. This is the last thing she'll Get it out of here. Oh my goodness. Ah, lady. She wrapped it so much. She probably was wonderful for headphone users. I'm sorry. Cameron likes doing woodworking stuff sometimes. So, um, I got him one of these hand planers. It's got, like, a little blade on the end. So you can, like shave off pieces of wood I guess I don't know how these things work I just know that he has a thousand of them now last thing more wrapping oh you protected the thing more than you did this oh look at it it's so pretty I'll show you an up close of that too shining in the light oh I love these so much I've always wanted to have an amethyst like this and now I do all right that was all I got today. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications anytime I upload, make sure you hit that little bell icon in one of these corners. And for those of you interested in what happened with the Sony, that video will be coming next week, hopefully. The Fuji is supposed to be in on Wednesday, so I'll be able to do a little comparison and just tell you what went wrong <laughs> so make sure you hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when that video gets uploaded all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye i've never been so close